eight months after Chrysopolis, Constantine forged ahead with his vision of a Christian empire by bringing together hundreds of bishops to work out a statement of belief which is still at the heart of Christianity today. We have agreed a form of words. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty. <laughs> we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light. True God from true God. Come on! Come on! Come on! Say the We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. God forgive you. God forgive you. Amen. Oh, Constantine. How much misfortune you caused, not by becoming Christian, but by the dowry which the first rich pope accepted from you. How true Dante's words were. A few months after Licinius's murder, Fausta was found mysteriously suffocated in a steam bath, some believe on Constantine's orders. Lactantius died before he could see Constantine fulfill his vision of a Christian empire. His writings are one of the main sources on Constantine's rule. Constantia lived out her days in Constantine's court. We don't know if she ever forgave her brother for the murder of her husband and her son. Constantine, Rome's first Christian emperor, lived another 12 years. Of all Rome's emperors, his legacy is the most far-reaching and long-lasting. It's because of him that Christianity is the dominant religion of the Western world today. I will give you the whole world. Oh, oh, oh.